social media might have silenced the President of the United States, but his son has been vocal on his behalf. Donald Trump Jr. today claiming the country is losing free speech. Donald Trump Jr. hit back in a Facebook video. And doing your thing, I wanted to talk a little bit more today about internet censorship. Uh, you know, I keep seeing, you know, more and more stuff popping. So, okay, I see people jumping in. So, I, I'll take my time. But, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about internet censorship today. Uh, again, I did a little post on this last night. Um, and, again, if you haven't done so already, uh, this is sort of the fail-safe for if and when uh, the social media overlords inevitably throw us all off of, you know, the, the platforms that they so heavily censor uh, and regulate only one way uh, against anyone that has, you know, conservative thoughts, anyone that's pro 2A, anyone that's, uh, you know, religious, uh, you know, those people get shut down. But if you're a vile leftist, uh, if you're a criminal, if you're the Ayatollah, uh, <laughs> no problem. I just saw the Ayatollah of Iran opened up an Italian language Twitter page. So not only does he have his own page, an American page, an English page, an Italian page, but this is someone who's threatened genocide to the state of Israel. He's allowed to remain on Twitter, but, uh, but others aren't. You know, the big news that I'm seeing right now is, you know, Google and Apple. So I heard Google from someone saying that Google now is threatening, and I, I don't know, I haven't verified this, but you know, I have enough, you know, there's enough noise there. I know Apple did it yesterday. They threatened Parler, uh, another social media app that seems to be pro-free speech. Amazing. It's amazing. Uh, that someone would be pro-free speech in 2021. Uh, I didn't think that existed anymore in America. Big tech effectively eliminated that very basic American right uh, so that we can uh, keep this going and that we can actually fight for free speech uh, in America. I mean, it's a sad day uh, when you're literally talking about losing free speech. It's a sad day when big tech has more power than big government, that they can censor the president of the United States Again, while letting dictatorial regimes that make a hobby out of killing people they don't like, uh, they let them run free and rampant. Um, I mean, think about it. Think about, like, the, the crimes against humanity that the Ayatollah and Iran have committed. Uh, whether that's, you know, sending IEDs to all over the Middle East to kill American soldiers, uh, whether that's throwing homosexuals off of buildings, uh, whether that's some of these other regimes, you know, grabbing journalists. You'd think the media would say something about this, but, you know, again, they've gone full leftist. They are no longer journalists. They haven't been in a long time. They've gone full leftist. So, you know, they're okay with that, even though some of their colleagues have literally been put in cages, doused in gasoline, and lit on fire. Uh, you know, those people can have a Twitter and social media presence, the people that do that. But the president of the United States can't. Honestly, guys, it's sad and it's sick, but since it seems to be happening and since it seems to be coming and since in my mind, you'd have to be the dumbest person in the history of dumb people to believe that it's a total coincidence that the day that Twitter locks out the president of the United States, Apple threatens to throw Parler off the App Store. So, you know, I don't know what. 60% of American people couldn't possibly download the app onto their phone if it wasn't there. Uh, total coincidence, right, guys? Uh, Google threatens to do the same, so you get the other, the other 50%, other 40% who perhaps aren't using Apple phones. I mean, this is a monopoly on thought. This is a monopoly on free speech that these companies have. And, of course, the Republicans, as always, they tuck tail and run. They don't fight for 230 reform. You know, they take the $5,000 check from Google. They go tell their constituents whatever they need to hear, that they're actually going to do something about the censorship of people from the religious right or people from the Second Amendment crowd. They do all that. Then they take the $5,000 check from Google and don't do anything. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, that's just part of the territory uh, these days. Free speech goes one way, and it's controlled by a one-sided group of individuals that are part of the West. We can mobilize, we can get 
that message out, you can spread the word, but at least I'll have a little bit of a chunk. It'll be a small fraction of my following, obviously. It's gonna be a tiny fraction of what I have right now that I've spent years trying to curate to build up. Uh, you know, I do spend a lot of time uh, you know, on social. I try to give you guys the behind the scenes uh, in terms of what's going on in my life with my family, uh, you know, wherever I can, whatever kind of snapshot of some of the, you know, really cool stuff that I get to do that I think a lot of Americans should uh, should get to experience that may not. Um, you know, I want to keep doing that uh, one way or the other. Uh, you guys have absolutely been awesome. Um, it, it's really awesome to see uh, in, in the face uh, of such a full frontal assault, uh, you know, on on the foundation uh, of America, free speech. Um, it, it's awesome to have you guys uh, be so loving and so supportive. Uh, we truly appreciate it. So we will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Uh, wow, a lot of comments coming in. So I, I will actually take a little time now. I'll go through, uh, read these comments, uh, you know, and maybe give you my thoughts on it later on. So guys, thank you very much. I will speak to you later. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it with your families.